Because I didn't want to do anything, I got on my knees and offered him the easy currency of my mouth. I don't want to explain a thing, but if I have to, I want to make clear I knew if I just asked him to leave, he would have. But I didn't want him to come all that way for nothing. He showed up and that meant something, I think. Who am I to care? Who am I to turn away anything as simple as hunger? What is my body if not wet collateral? And then he said, I can't get off on just head, so I let him fuck me face down on the carpet while I counted the loose change under the dresser. And that only feels important to mention because later I used it to buy him a sandwich I don't think he even touched. I've learned quickly that there are countless ways to open a body. Silence too is one. I can't say for sure, but I think I'm bored with loneliness, or at least the music it supplies, bodies thrashing. It's harder than it looks, you know, opening and closing, doing whatever it takes to pull the bright crescendo into the humming dark. I imagine my hands, reckless, running up and down his cock, a pair of scissors, curling the ribbon of his blood, dumb, I know. But still, I let the strange man spend the night. I know his type. He won't do anything unless I ask, so I ask. All I've ever wanted to be was useful. I can't stop talking about desire. I used to think of it as a pane of glass I would press my face against, and then one day it came. One day I fell through the glass or the boy or the men in their many faces until I was just a thin coat of leather on everyone's teeth. Listen, I understand there's still time to be saved. There's always someone waiting to name your story. Shut up, I know the story, or at least the lesson, the hand, the stovetop, except I'm not sure if I'm the hand or the stovetop. Maybe I'm looking at it all wrong. Maybe I should admit I do know what I'm doing. He'll leave soon and I'll be just fine. I'll be just fine. The man wakes me up by slipping a finger inside. I don't move away can't go back to sleep until he's done. It would be too easy to make him leave, to roll on my back, to scream out the open window. But instead I laugh and say, you won't find it. You won't find whatever you're looking for.